Brian Terrian from the Disability Digest here with information about how much you can make. How much you can make when you're applying for disability and how much you can make once you are approved for disability. I'm sharing my screen for this video because this is one of the most commonly asked questions and there's different figures associated with it so to eliminate the confusion I'm going to show you the regulations that Social Security has and walk you through and explain it to you. So, <clears throat> here we go. First of all, there are two different regulations and they will be around this video. I just look below the video in most cases. <clears throat> and the first one is, for those of you that are not approved for disability, I'm going to go through that first, then for those of you that are approved, hang on, I'm going to go through that next. Um, the first thing is to be <clears throat> eligible for Social Security disability benefits. You need to be unable to engage in what Social Security calls substantial gainful activity, SGA. This means that you are, are unable to work above a certain level. There's hours associated with this, which is not in this um, regulation here, but generally 20 hours a week is one of the one of the criteria if you're less than that it's fine but this is just regarding the income now a person who's earning more than a certain amount of money uh, net their impairment related work expenses um, which I'll talk about in a moment um, <clears throat> is not engaging in SGA if you're below this allowed amount alright so here's the thing the SGA in this video is in 2023, uh, is down here, there's, you'll see it's 1470 uh, for those that are not blind. If you're blind, it's different. Now, um, this is for those of you that are trying to get approved. Now, your impairment-related work expenses, um, and there'll be other information around this video about those, are... Uh, certain expenses that you incur um, to work, and that could be transportation, service animals, prosthesis, uh, bandages, syringes, there's a whole host of those that you take your gross amount of money that you're making and then you take the impairment related work expenses and that is the figure that you need to stay below. Now. $1,470 is what you're allowed to make and apply for disability. Here's my, um, my position uh, on that. Based on my experience of 17 years, and there's 191,000 people here, if you're working and earning close to that amount and trying to get approved for disability, it's really difficult because it just gives Social Security the opportunity to say, hey, you know, you're working and you're doing pretty good. Maybe if you had different treatment or a different job with reasonable accommodations, you could work over the SGA. So I've even seen people have challenges that are earning four or $500 a month uh, getting approved. So just be aware that that's the regulation, but that is different than the probability of getting approved. Okay, so that is for people going through the approval process. Again, below SGA, which is 1470 at the time of this recording, and that is um, less your impairment related work expenses. Now, once you get approved, and for those of you that are listening that are approved, just to keep it super confusing, there is another regulation. And that one is on this page here and again both of the links will be below the video now <clears throat> again there's different figures associated with how much you can work but this is my position on this um, if you work and earn below a certain amount you can do that every month until uh, forever um, and so if you go over the certain amount, then you start to use what's called your trial work months, your trial work period. And you have nine of those over 60 months. So my advice is stay below the threshold so that you don't trigger a trial work period. Because if you trigger a trial work period, 
flag's going to go up, they're going to see that you're trying to work, you're earning more than the allowed amount, etc. Right. So now, <clears throat> if we go down here on this list, we'll see for 2023 it's $1,050 a month. Now, two ways to look at this. If you're an employee, have a job, your tax status is W-2, then you can you that 1050 you can take out impairment related work expenses now if you're doing something independently like you're running your own business so you have a YouTube channel or a website or you're freelancing or something like that mystery shopping then <clears throat> the amount that is considered is your gross income minus your business expenses minus your impairment related work expenses now I'm not a tax guy but I know enough to know that if you take this information to a tax guy and say, here's my impairment related work expenses, here's my business expenses, and your net for the year is less than an average of 1050, you're fine. Okay? So, those are some of the tips. Let's just recap this. Uh, if you're working, you stay below the allowed amount, you can do that each and every month, no problem. You go over in this example. 1050 then you're starting to get into one of your nine trial work period months so that's um, that's a concern in either instance last tips I have for you are this in either situation um, make sure that you tell Social Security that you're working even if you're just getting started and just say and you don't know how much you're gonna make just say hey listen I don't know how much I'm gonna make but I'm gonna start working I hope to make two three four hundred dollars a month uh, like I can call you back in another month and let you know keep really good records uh, of everything that you do and all the receipts and make sure you file your taxes um, and everything's fine I've been doing this for uh, 17 years we have uh, disability recipients that work here um, and they stay below the allowed amount both on the hours and the income and we haven't had any problems so I know it works and um, I'm totally supportive of people making the effort to do that. So I hope you find this information helpful in understanding how much you can make and get or how much you can make and keep your Social Security Disability Benefits. Make it a great day.